In this lesson, we will be taking a look at the FaceDraft tool. The file that I have open is facedraft.ipt, and it can be found in your Chapter 4 Exercise folder. From the Part Features panel, I'm going to slide down, and I'm going to click on the FaceDraft tool. The shortcut is the letter D. The first thing that it's going to be asking for here is a pull direction. As I move my cursor around the screen, you'll see that an arrow or a line is appearing, which basically is representing if you were to put material in, which direction would you pull it out? So I'm going to click on that bottom face, and you'll see the arrow is pointing up. So if I needed to, I could reverse that. But in this case, the shelled part, the material, would be coming back up and out of the part. Let me just rotate the screen so you can definitely see that. The arrow is going up, and that's exactly what I want. Now, the draft angle, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change that to 5 degrees. And then for the faces option here, as I move my cursor around, you can see that the arrow is appearing. Now this is very important, so I'm going to move in really tight here. If I select the bottom edge, you can see that it's going to angle away from the part. And if I select the top edge, it's going to add material coming back in, but the angle is going to be exactly the same. So in this case, I'm going to select the top edge, and let's go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to use the Look At tool. We'll look at that plan. Of course, it did rotate it for me, but that's OK. I'm going to switch back to a wireframe. So you can see this is the edge that I selected. So it was maintaining my one millimeter thickness here and the five degrees of draft is going back in. So let's spin this around, switch back to our shaded display, and let's go ahead and I'm going to delete that face draft, and I want to do it again. I'm going to do the exact same deal. I'm going to select the bottom plane to define the pull direction, and then for my face, I want to select the bottom edge, click OK, and you'll see that the part has gotten a lot thinner up on top. Again, let's switch to a wireframe, and again I'll do the look at. So you can see the edge that I selected down here, it's going to maintain that material thickness here and the five degrees of draft is going up, but you can see the angle in both cases was exactly the same. So let's again switch back to our shaded display, change to an isometric view. A face draft is a feature just like everything else. I can edit that feature, and if I change my mind, I'm going to go back and reselect that face option, hold down the control key, and I can remove that face. So in this case, what I like to do is I'm just going to work my way around, selecting the top edge, and you see as I work it around this left side, it's selecting all the tangent faces along with it. Just going to spin the model around with the F4 key. Making sure that I have all of the edges selected on the very top. Go ahead and click OK. And I now have a face draft that is going in on all the faces. So let's go ahead and delete that. So that's pretty straightforward. And you could do the same thing for the outside edges. Let's just quickly do that. Again, the pull direction, the faces. In this case, let's just work our way around the outside. Just verify that everything is definitely in play. And you can see that the material thickness was maintained up on top, and it added the material thickness to the outside. So let's go ahead and undo that. There was one more option for the face draft. So the default was I was just selecting edges. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to place in a work plane that's going to be parallel from the top plane 
to the bottom plane, so it's going to be right in the middle. In this case, what I'd like to do is I'm going to create a face draft that is going to start or maintain the material thickness right in the middle of this part. So let's, again, scroll on up. Select our face draft tool. So our first option here was fixed edges. I'm going to go down here and select fixed plane. Now this plane can be any planar face, or in my case here, I'm going to select the work plane. Again, it's going to show me the direction, and that will help define the angle, if it's going to go in or out. Again, we'll keep the face draft at 5 degrees. And now for the faces, all I need to do is pick on the faces. It doesn't matter if I pick to the top or to the bottom. The only thing that really matters, am I selecting the inside or the outside faces? So now if I go ahead and click OK, get a little bit different result. The material thickness, if I switch back to a wireframe display, we can see that the material thickness is that one millimeter is right at the intersection of that plane. Again, it doesn't matter how this was created. You can go back and double click on that, change your mind again, hold down the control key, remove those faces. And in this case, let's simply select the inside faces and let's see our result. Pick that last face, and OK. And it's shelled to the inside. You can see we get a little thin on the top part here. So in this case, I wanted to decrease the draft angle from 5 to 2 degrees, because I need to maintain that thickness up on top. You can easily go back and do that. And that completes the face draft tool.